Hello everyone, welcome for this weekly community show. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for leaving a comment, giving a like and sharing it with all your friends. You can also visit us live every Tuesday. This week I will be speaking to you about the QA patch note, what are the progress on the QA server, what you can expect as change for the patch at the end of March. As a reminder, we are not producing weekly patch on the live server. Instead, we are dropping uh, new patches on the QA server as they come by, as the progress, as the development happen. Players can test it, not all the time, but at some certain period that are announced on Discord. And then at the end of the month, we will have a big patch. That being said, do not expect the patch of March to be as big as the patch of February. We are doing a lot of work that are invisible and that will only show up in the later patch in April or May, which is uh, some preparation work. We're going to discuss about all of that in a moment. I will also be discussing about several communities news, different threads on the forum that are interesting and discussion that you can take part of if you are interested. All right, so let's get started. All right, QA March 2023. What do we have? This week, QA patch had a new camera perspective, dynamic cloud coverage, and a huge quality of life fix for combat aura. Much of the work thus far, however, has been focused on back end system upgrade to provide more flexibility moving forward. And that's what I was telling you that most of the work we are doing this month is invisible. That being said, be reassured, we will have the first phase of the dungeon. The new dungeon in Retro Forest, which will be the highlight of this patch, obviously, uh, or at least the one bite that will seem the most fancy, as it's a brand new dungeon, which will look completely different from the ember vein and uh, central vein system which is great so of course it's still in the ground so it will still be dark but it will be done and created with different assets than the central vein and ember vein system which are using of course the same asset that has been created and you may be tired of it so you will see something completely different that has been created by charlie's or wall builder and surprise, soon you will have an interview of Charlie's on the weekly community show. So be looking for that as it will be speaking about the world building in general, but in particular about that new dungeon. Prepare your question. It's going to be probably next week. That being said, it might be because we have really different time zone is from Australia, right? Uh, so it might be pre-recorded. So we'll have to see with him how we do that. The Character from life have been copied over the QA as of 10 a.m. Central Time Tuesday, March 7. So you will have the progress of your character on the March 7. Right. That's what we do uh, every time we are working on the QA server. So you will not be able to continue your progress on the QA server. That's not the goal of the QA server. It's really to test out content you have the potion to boost your characters anyway you can create new character you can delete your character it's not going to affect anything on the server on the live server so you don't have to be scared about deleting your main it's going to be fine and you can create a new character a new class you can forget your role you can do all that kind of things if you want not only to experiment the new patch but also other things in general all right, let's read the box fixes and improvements. Let's start with the tech. So NPC tag have been expanded to allow for more complex relationship between different NPC. This change should be transparent to player. Things that could be impacted and need to be tested. NPC social aggro, NPCs fighting one another, and NPC properly aggroing player. That being said, most of that change should not be visible at all. Yeah like it say here 
effect category have been migrated to a new system. This allows us to more accurately design which ability can stack with one another. It should also allow us to design some combo ability to save space on your action bar. Again, this change should currently be transparent to player. Things that could be impacted and need to be tested. Do buff debuff properly stack? Do buff debuff that should not stack, not stack? So this is a preparation work for later abilities or maybe um, some uh, alchemical abilities in future where we will stack different abilities together. So for example, let's take the example of the Warlord because I think it was the first one um, we, and we needed a new tech for this. It was to stack the one song that regenerates health with the song that regenerates stamina into a single song that regenerates both. So when you're progressing your character, you will have some abilities that are merging, which will kind of free a slot on your ability bar, allowing you to pick up another ability. So that's a little bit the idea we have as we progress and as we are introducing more abilities at higher level. What we want is to combine different abilities together so you will have less button always on your limited skill bar. Okay, so a lot of players have been giving feedback about the limited skill bar and how it's annoying. Remember that you have eight abilities before it was only six. So we already have expanded it during the beta or the alpha and we do not really want to expand it further. But that's... Uh, um, that's... How can I say? Progression where you merging two different abilities into one is a kind of nice uh, middle ground, I think, that will give the same effect without giving you more bar and still forcing you to make choice because that's what we wanted that you make choice that you um, select a selection of spell and abilities on your bar to. Um, to, to, to face different situation or different group or different strategy. So you need to compose your build. Um, some people have been speaking about having presets. Uh, so that's a different type of discussion. But this could also give a little bit of ease into that system where you can preset. Oh, I am solo playing, so I have those skills. Or I am in a group, so I have those skills, etc., etc. When executing an ability that requires defensive target and you have none, you should now auto-target yourself. So meaning that if you are using a heal and you have no defensive target, it will automatically go on you. I know that someone has been reporting this because I have seen uh, the report of that person. I am not sure how I feel about that. Personally, I don't think it's really nice because sometimes you click your spell by mistake and if you don't have an auto target, at least you have not wasted your spell. Now you will be wasting your spell on yourself. Anyway, it's a kind of learning curve. Um, I'm not sure, but it will be interesting to test it because it's different and maybe it's better. Maybe it's better for some player and maybe, you know. So uh, it will be interesting to have your feedback. I'm curious to hear what you think about that. Fix it a few client side exception. Fix it NPC for moonwalking in feared in an enclosed area. Fix it issue with NPCs in Grimstone not swimming. There you go. Combat aura no longer need to be reapplied every time you re-enter combat stance. Once activated, it will reactivate every time you re-enter combat stance. Whoever, after being knocked unconscious, giving up or zoning, those aura will need to be reactivated. But I'm not sure if that changed anything for the warlord. Auto run is now disabled on a successful interaction with Merchant Monolith in Harvesting Nodes. Fix that issue with NPC destination caching, server performance improvement. Last month this was causing NPC to get stuck and not move after some times. 
that's really cool it has caused i think a very weird bug after maintenance where all the mobs in new heaven valley were not walking it was kind of creepy and fixed dot tick will no longer forcibly select an offensive target all right let's see what the environment and art improvement has done Fix that the number of NAF mesh issue in Northridge and Midland. Bug. F <sighs> Bug. F Allez. Bug fix an environmental prop update to Grimstone Canyon. Oh, that's really nice. So if you have been reporting some hole and stuff like that, it has been corrected. Fix set a number of invalid animation clip reference on NPC's abilities. For example, Chameleon shrinking when executing Pound. And added new prop to the first narrow region in Grimstone Canyon. Cancelling transition from sit to stand if the player start moving. This should reduce the occurrence of butt sliding. Oh, that's sad. Audio fixed mandrake footstep audio not being loud enough and added trickling water audio to New Heaven City Stream. Yay! That's a, my request in, in the game. Awesome! I'm so happy. Thank you, Undone. <laughs> Interface fixed heal not showing heavy critical in the combat log. That would be nice. Fix it some triggered effect, open wound, emerging strike, vapor toxin, etc. Not properly reflecting the player as the source. The damage from those effects will now show in the combat log as coming from the source player. Fix it LFG LFM entry swapping and improved overhead nameplate hate consistency. Look at this design. Oh my god, there is so much. Design, fix it line of sight aggro issue in Retro Ridge. Frogs and a rabbit can now navigate on water. Reduce execution time on smoldering ash. Fix it the typo on scavenger hatchet. Give basilic's region drop. Nice. That's really nice. I do not know what are the region too. I'm curious. Pull back aggressive mobs from Grimstone Canyon and Bering. Oh, that has been um, reported. I have seen the report from some player about that. Rework the tool progression to be more linear. Updated progression of 30 to 50 weapon. Update static damage value to compensate. Update mob health to compensate. Increase mob stat diversity. Added new hunting nodes to outdoor zone. Those are similar to forestry and prospecting nodes, but are for skinning. You will know them when you come across them. I've seen them. They're quite interesting. Skill change. Plenty of skill change here. Let me read them fast. Salvo, assist, acid strike, pummel, pressure, quick strike, sweep, crushing blow, bash, breach collateral damage or progression reduce cooldown so that means that when you are progressing to skill they are lowering their cooldown okay that's quite interesting increase cooldown of despair reduce stamina cost increase cooldown of venom shock reduce stamina cost of vaporid toxin overpower progression reduce stamina cost arc progression reduce stamina cost and increase range on mark which is the new spell for brigand quests fix it erroneous text in circle expedition quest regarding a monetary reward Note that new quests are not available on QA, I just wanted to list them here for future reference and so that you know they are in and coming to life when Dispatch deploys Middleland, Antiquities and the Pirates. QA only, that's an improvement just for you testing in more comfortable um, circumstances. 
added a slash QA chat command that will teleport you to the QA zone if you are near numbering, which is really useful. So if you're lost in Retro Forest, you just have to go to a numbering slash QA and then you will be teleported inside the zone in New Haven City. Added a number monolith to the QA zone and QA zone act as a giant ember ring for restorative purpose. All right. So now let's see the new stuff. First person camera. Embers and Drift now support a first person camera. This option, however, is disabled by default and must be enabled in one or two way. The first is a new keybind called first person camera. Activating this keybind will toggle you in and out of first person mode. The second is enabling a new toggle in the gameplay option called enable zoom to first person, which allow you to zoom in to enter first person and zoom out to exit. It should also be noted that this camera perspective is not fully featured and has a few minor quirks. For example, your body is not rendered, but weapon are. So, so far, people are really enjoying the new camera perspective, especially in some very tight area in dungeons. And then for immersion purpose, when you're soloing, for example, the first person camera can be very pleasing. Another new stuff is the dynamic cloud coverage. The first step in implementing any sort of weather system is adding dynamic cloud coverage. Up until this point, the amount of clouds present in Ember Drift has been static. Cloud will now dynamically adjust the coverage lots of clouds versus not many clouds based on the date, time of the day and location. Right now this is mostly randomized, but in the future we plan to involve a much more complex relationship with different weather pattern. And this is the first step for weather effect that we want to implement in game as soon as we possibly can, which will be a very nice addition for immersion. So most of, most of this patch it's a lot of correction, a lot of bugs fix, and a lot of invisible work, which is the back-end system upgrade, uh, to work on new stuff in future. But we're preparing two new things. First-person camera and dynamic clouds. Um, so the, this is a first step for the weather that we want to implement in Ember Drifts. One of the new things that will be added as well in this patch will be the new dungeon, but it's not, uh, there's no patch not related to this new dungeon yet. But I know it's there. Uh, I have not personally been testing it yet, but I know my team have. So it is, it is a work in progress. So it's going to be exciting. So the new dungeon is coming soon. I said coffee saying awesome. I already love the weather, so looking forward to change. Yeah, I think that it's something that we really want. Um, one of the big trick with the weather and the season is the addition of snow, because that will be relatively challenging to add, but we really want it. So you can imagine uh, North Reach or Meadowland with snow. Obviously, I don't think we will add snow in dry food to why not? Uh, it's not like it's in the south. It's still a Nordic um, area. It's just a desertic area. Um, so I, I would love to see that. I actually would love to see dry food with snow as well. That would be quite interesting, actually. I said coffee snow. I live in Southern California, so snow will be cool. And Smartbone is saying you could add the volcanic region of dry food. Yeah, a volcanic area, maybe not in dry food, but it's uh, it's definitely something we could add in the future. I think it will interest a lot of people to have a volcano. But I don't know if uh, we have a lot of lava things with Unity and stuff like this. Finding Toad will be easier. Yeah, that's something really cool because you see the season are changing every week. So you have one week spring, one week summer, one week fall and one week winter in general. So the whole year goes through the span of um, a month. That's not very scientific. 
it is mostly uh, just to have a little bit of variety. So, which means that if things change and make the gameplay a little bit different, it's okay because on a one month, you can experience all of it. Uh, let's imagine that in, during the winter there's some other animals that are spawning or something like frozen creature. Some other are going in hibernation. This is the kind of things we always wanted to do with the game, but we didn't have the time and the tech to develop this. So I think it's the direction we're going forward to have more impactful change with the season. We already have it with the night and the day. So you do have certain creatures that spawn during the day and spawn during the night. So it is totally something we could do in future as well. All right, let's speak a little bit of community news now. So I do have several threads I would like to introduce you about that I invite you to check out on our forum. So let's start first with the Sentinel issue. I'm not going to read this long post because it's very long. It, is been, it has been created by Aetrion, which is one of our alpha tester, which did testing, we did a lot of testing back in the days. And he came back recently to the game and um, is coming here with plenty of ID for the Sentinel, which is the class is playing. And um, it is said that Sentinel is going to be reworked. So I would suggest you to have a look with this thread if you're a Sentinel or interested by the Sentinel future and how the class will be evolving. So have a look, check out Atrion's ID and uh, what you think about the class and how you think it could be improved. Basically what I can summarize very fast is that I do believe that Sentinel is the least interesting of the three supporter because the spells of the Sentinel does not scale well when the combat acquire more targets. Uh, Duelists, for example, have uh, AoE heal when it's reached level 22 that I just acquired and I really enjoy it. And the Warlord do have some um, aura that heal the wall group. Um, but the Sentinel does not have any AoE heal. Therefore, when the group is starting to have more targets, it is not making it very interesting. Um, that and then when you have more members in your group, um, you do not feel like you can contribute more. Um, that's one of the things he was mentioning. The other is speaking about the debuff the Sentinel have. And he's proposing this kind of solution regarding to that, which I think it's interesting. But I'm not really playing Sentinel, so I think that it's something important for any sentinel player or people that enjoy the sentinel play alongside the sentinel something like that have a look to this thread give your opinion um, answer it we can start a discussion on this thread on this forum thread there had been a lot of discussion related to the sentinel on discord but all of those discussions are gone to the wind because uh, it was in the general chat um, so that will be the appropriate place to talk about Sentinel. <clears throat> Another thread which I have been published yesterday. It's loading screen, your contribution. Guys, we are asking for your collaboration regarding the loading screen tip. You certainly have seen that. There is some tip. Uh, when you are loading from one zone to another, for example, here in this, in this one, when near numbering, its location on the map will glow slightly. So we are asking your contribution, what kind of tip uh, could you add to those loading screen? I've been asking you. So what do we need? Regional tips, something good to know, particular to a zone in game. So that's something very specific. What can you give us a tip for New Heaven Valley or for Meadowland or for Red Shore Forest? Something really specific to that zone in particular. 
maybe um, some mobs that are roaming or a place that is hard to find or I don't know what IDs could you find specifically to some area the other is beginner tip what are the things you wish you would have known as a new player and here we have uh, plenty of uh, very funny suggestion red mean run <laughs> yeah for example i like that one beware the rats they will f fuck you up So he here it's kind of a nice and uh, sensible um, a tip, but then there is some that are really funny. Uh, <laughs> here, there is always time for a good blame storming session after a bad pull. Why? So turn down vegetation if you are having SU finding mushroom or other averting nodes. Oh, I love this one. This one is really cool. You can still be a dwarf if you believe hard enough and drag the hate slider all the way to the left. It is pretty cool. There is no, there is no bunny. Don't try to pet them. Yes, very good one, Shabu. This is not a bunny. <laughs> Armor Tetris. All hail Blue Peter, eye of something or other. I forgot the actual name now. <laughs> yes, character creation adjustments are available every time you are on, on the character selection screen. Uh, yeah, that goes well together after the dwarf. You can be a dwarf if you believe it enough. Anyway, it's, it's really cool. So, if you want to add <laughs> some of your tip, please do it in that thread. Maybe one day you will see your tip on the loading screen. This is something we have been discussed about during our meeting on Discord. Speaking of which, did you know that we have community week meeting on Discord twice a week? Yes, indeed, my friend. The Wednesday at 3 a... Well, I'm not going to say the time during this period because Europe and America are not uh, synchronized anymore with the time zone and the saving time so check out the starting time on discord and not right now guys because I made a mistake because of the time saving Yana thank you so very much you take care of yourself say hi to uh, mindless from me enjoy your time with your friends one gold if I can place for your store price on one. That would be funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know some uh, tips I will add myself. That will be unrelated to the game itself, but more community related. All right, but that's all I have to say related to this thread. So if you have some tips, if you want to see your tips on the loading screen, please add them in this thread. You can add some funny one as well. We will see what we will take. But also I really would like to see some regional tip. We don't have some regional tip uh, for now. So that will be really cool suggestion. What can you say about Meadowland, about dry food, about Red Shore Forest? Uh, maybe some tip to not get lost or something like this. So um, we count on your contribution. Thank you very much for your participation. All right, now something more fun. Post your play it slash play it. So that's a thread from Marcus from O's. Post your slash play it or not your call. I'm not trying to build a case to speed up things. I'm just curious how people play. Maybe I'm the only one who dwaddle along like this. My level 18 warden, 148 hours in four months, about nine hours per week on this tune, eight hours per per level on average, roughly a level a week on this tune. This is quite interesting. So if you want to participate to these threads and discuss a little bit, that could be nice. I mean, this is not to open a discussion about leveling speed or experience gain, but more, how do you play? How much have you spent on your character? It's kind of fun. 
Oh my god, should I do that? I, I think it could be fun. <laughs> so, a last thing, a last thread that is funny and pleasant is name one thing that you like about the game. This thread had been created by Mino. Is saying, okay, this is going to sound completely insane, but one of the things I like about this game is how easy you can die. Just the other day, one of my characters had just finished killing a bear, and believe me, it was close on who was going to kill who first. I sat down to recover health, and bam, the biggest grizzly bear I have ever seen took me out with one swipe just as I sat down. Of course, I was pissed off because now I had to do the back run, but it just reminded me of doing the corpse run to get my stuff when I died in EverQuest back in the days. So one thing in game that has made you smile and saying yeah this is what I have been missing in today's game. So this is a really cool thread because we had plenty of threads that are doing constructive or less constructive um, criticism. So that is just sharing something you really like about the game. So if you want to participate to the discussion you can find out that thread on our forum. All right, so as a little summary, check out the feedback Sentinel issue, share your experience about the Sentinel, the loading screen, we want your contribution, post your slash plates just for fun and name one things you like about the game. So that's it for today. So with this group, we are doing some um, last phase of a quest which uh, asks us to kill some exile raiders so that's not an exile raiders but the exile raiders are here so in this group we have a marshal 26 that's joining to help we have a nice knight 19 berserker 18 a warden 22 and a warden 20 a brigand 20 and then a duelist. I'm the only healer uh, in this group, so I will have to be uh, saving my stamina. So when you are only one healer, you need to be very cautious to really uh, preserve your stamina. Otherwise, you can be in trouble. But here we are in the open world. It's not a dungeon. So if we are really in trouble, we can easily or semi-easily get out and run. And so we should not have any problem. Those mobs are white for me. That means they are uh, exactly at my level, which is not not that because that's a crafting. Which are they? They are twenty-two, basically. So if they are twenty-two, they are red. Or um, level eighteen, next marble. We would have to go in to our places or stick the rings, but wait for a response. But I prefer to move around. Moving around is pretty fun. So welcome guys to the stream, thank you very much for joining today. I am streaming in Brazil Drift every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, organizing group with um, the community. I play all kind of level to my plate character are around 20 
my duelist is 22, my brigand is level 20, so that's mostly the content I'm doing, but I'm also helping out players at various levels with my flexible character, which I can level up or down, depending on what's needed. Um, it's really a cheated GM character, so I'm just there for helping. Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> All the decor for me. I'm going to drop a ground torch here so you can see clearly. It's always more pleasant. Great. Protecting the tank. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, here we go. Yes, I'm the only healer, so. Uh, I am sparing my stamina. I'm, I'm going to take. Um, going to auto attack with my crossbow. What the fuck? Where is she? The net. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was out of range. And I did not saw you. That was so stupid. I know. Stupid raiders, leave me alone. There we go. Oh, I have to sit down and wait my stamina to come back. Fuck you. Fuck you, readers. <laughs> I need to kite. Alright. I have to patch myself. I'm trying to go to the tank, huh? But, uh, okay, there we go. So, oh, no, no, no. There we go. No, no. Problem, problem, problem. <laughs> Hello, François, ça va? Hi, how are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, they're a little bit high. <laughs> okay. So I'm passing this and I'm passing that. How things are doing for you? Comment ça va? J'imagine que ça va bien. What's your name? All right. Many thanks. Do not worry. I did the mis mistake earlier with 
with you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, maybe we can, maybe, maybe we can rest fast at the embering. Embering and get back to the ring. But first we have this one. All right. <clears throat> right. This one will be good. We will not get too much in trouble. Actually, it's true. like it because the tree hide the village but look at this little uh, red <laughs> that we have under the moonlight Ooh. Yeah, it is. Hmm? I, what I really like is Blue Peter, the planet around which we are rotating. So we are on the moon, and this is the planet. <laughs> I love that. I still need to do the quests about Blue Peter. That would be fun. Maybe next week I will uh, focus on uh, the quests. for balls yes there is there is skill that has been added a 30 30 32 in f no wait um, <laughs> at 30 at 42 and I 38 I think but uh, now in game you will only find the 34 one I think Wait, what am I saying? I'm saying bullshit. I don't remember the, the, the number of the, the skills. I think it's 34, yeah. 34, 38, and 42. <laughs> Sorry. Say, I did say a lot of bullshit. But you cannot learn them. You need to find them. It's like a recipe that drop on certain mobs. But it's pretty easy, it's not very difficult. At least the 34 one are not very difficult. Uh, 
After that, they should increase in difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that aspect also. And so we want to add more of that kind of things in the game. You have uh, the same thing for crafting. You need to find a recipe. Um, otherwise, you can only do basic crafting. But if you want to do um, more interesting crafting, you have to... You have to find a recipe or trade a recipe. Yeah, so until um, level 30, you find this, you're just learning the skill here. So I only have two to get. But after that, you will have to find them. And there will be two ways of finding them. There will be drops and then there will be quests. But for now, we don't have the quest done yet, so, so we just have some drop that happen. Yes, for balls, the subs price is um, a ten dollar per month, basically nine dot ninety nine to be exact. So it's it's the same price and the reduced price when we started at launch, but it was supposed to be augmented to. Fifteen dollar per month. See this? It's the uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's still autumn. It's not winter yet. So right now we are in the Ember Vein in Dry Food, the Basilisk Ember Vein. Um, it was a group um, pretty balanced. We do have a Marshal as our tank, a 26 Marshal, so probably a little over leveling the content. We have one Warden, one Berserker, two Duelists and a, a second Warden. So basically, two healer, one tank, and uh, three DPS. Ooh, nice, that's for me. Or for Belarius, which is also a duelist. I really like the duelist, and the reason why I like it, it's because of this spell, which heal everyone. Of course, the only person that really needed the heal uh, was out of range. Typical. So there it is. I've been doing the Ember Vein Basilix only once before, so it's not an Ember Vein that I'm super familiar with. And I do not think it has special tricks like uh, the ant one, which is pretty difficult, or the frog one where you have the poison environment. Ooh, a chest. Nice. Nice. Let's see what we get. That's always a nice surprise. Here you have this room which is very circular. Okay, this is cool. Um, I'm going to greet everything else. And then as I explained earlier, I'm very happy because I crafted myself a new shirt that looked like this t-shirt, but the stats are really good. Look at this. I have plus three healing, plus nine health regen, plus two stam regen, and plus three ember damage resist, which will allow me to, to have a little protection against the ashen creature that we can encounter here. I'm going to screen our tank and drop in. Will I drop a... No, I'm not going to drop a torch ground, a ground torch now. Because we're going to move in a moment. So that may be useful here actually.
and uh, I am already at 100 with my ember stone. I really need to upgrade my stone so I can have more stuff. That will be useful. And I don't know where is the second quest. You, you realize that? Me, I do not know where is the quest. Oops, my bad, my bad. It's not really a problem, but still my bad. <laughs> but with the crossbow, I still need to stay at certain range. As you can see my, you can see here the red is where I cannot touch the creature so I need to stay far and sometimes I can aggro what's behind of course sitting to regain some stamina while trick is bringing back a new target it's only a two chef so that's fine I'm going to give a little bonus to Wutia why you boot ya? Why not? I mean, it doesn't matter which DPS I'm buffing. Ooh, nice. Well, I always pass on the first. I always pass on the first. But only the first. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Arcana. <laughs> I have a tendency, tendency to have really good rolls. I'm usually winning. Yeah, it's, it's bringing them back from far. This is pretty cool. We can we can guess his presence here with his little lantern. <laughs> oh, no, I need to go on the other side. Because I have a uh, bonus when I am on the back. If you have any question about the game, do not hesitate to ask. I'm here to answer you. And it's my pleasure to answer you. We still have this little uh, quill bag to get, I guess. No? Okay, alright. No quill bag then. Ooh. Okay. Ah, thank you. West Mushroom. Belarius is saying, according to my banner, it is surprisingly windy in here, okay. <laughs> this is funny. don't have the feeling that we have much problem here. I'm wondering what are the cool drop in this dungeon? It would be nice to discover the names and... Uh, 
What's that? Oh, it's a fair dense carcass. Awesome. Yeah, I really have the occasion of uh, DPSing here. There's not much things to heal. For now, because it might change later. This mushroom feel like a trap. <laughs> yeah, with the light and everything. <laughs> right, it's giving a screen to Xavier. So it's fine. I don't like when rat only give whiskers. I want them to give me some delicious mild ichor. Or some ichor. Even better. We really need to have a, a rat uh, ember vein. That would be nice. Yeah, Ikora look like a glass of milk. I know it's probably a glass of milk, <laughs> but uh, like, the sacred shroom, yeah. <laughs> but it felt dangerous, like, pick me, pick me, pick me, and then you have uh, 20 spider <laughs> coming from the roof. Hmm. So yeah, um, so the Mighty Bastion, I can already give you some basic from the game, even too we are doing some higher level content here, but maybe so you, you don't get lost. Um, so depending of the role you choose, you will need some region. The region are enhancing one of your ability. So you have one region for your ability for each role. So each role will have it in common. I am a supporter, so it's the salve. And the salve augment the heal of my first head. If you were a defender, you will need to have some uh, urine. <laughs> yes. And uh, that will uh, augment, enhance your taunt abilities. And if you're a striker, it will be... Um, I don't remember what it's called now. Some blue vials of something. And that will help you to enhance your fading strike, which allow you to drop your aggro. And then each class have a different region to enhance one of their special abilities. I'm a duelist, so I need Ikor to augment my patch. So what it give me, it give, give me plus five healing. And that one give me plus seven healing. So it's very simple, very straightforward. But those regions are very important. You can tick them off if you don't want to use them. For example, oh, in this group, I don't really need to use anything. For example, I could sing that. So I can use my lower version or nothing at all. So I save them for when something gets more tense. Um, but you also need to gather them. And the region drops only on certain specific mobs. So, for example, the salve drop on bear and stag elk. The ichor drop from ember flies, ant, and rats. Stuff like that. And in future, we will have an alchemy system where you will be able to enhance those regions um, with some ember, with the power of ember, giving a little magical touch, even if it's not really magic, but yeah, a twist, a touch to your spells and abilities. But the alchemy system is not ready yet. It's currently being worked on. So it still might be changing. So what I'm saying is to take with a grain of salt at the moment, it's a project.
But it's going to happen, just not 100% sure how in detail. Uh, we're going there next. Okay, I'm going to drop a torch here. Will alchemy be a new crafting profession? No, it's going to be more like um, a system uh, in which everyone can take part of. So it's not depending on you. It's not at all crafting. It is really related to combat. But every class can use it. That's what will be kind of the replacement of being a mage or a wizard. We don't have mage and wizard in our game. It's a low fantasy game uh, where things are a little bit more grounded. Uh, I like to call it a medieval science fiction game because it has a there is a scientific aspect to it, which is why our magic system is going to be called alchemy. And it's more like a discipline uh, of knowledge and understanding. It, it will be like science even if it's a complete science fiction science but <laughs> it's more in that line so you, you will learn you will study uh, the power of ember with the academy which is studying the ember and uh, there it is work is so busy i barely have time to remember to actually say hi in chat before learning away <laughs> oh don't worry don't worry, I understand. I hope you enjoy your work too. I hope it's a, it's a fun or rewarding work that you're doing. I hope it's worth to sacrifice some awesome play time for working. That's what I mean. <laughs> but if the work is a hobby for you, then it's fine. It's like me, basically. Ah, 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 this time I need. Ah, uh, yeah, you see? You see what I mean? You see? You see what I mean? <laughs> we'll pass from now. <laughs> so, of course, I'm winning. Uh... <laughs> so, I've won the flux again. <laughs> I'm passing a lot. I, um, honestly, I'm passing so much. But sometimes I like, okay, well, I'm playing the game too, right? <laughs> I also need my stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and all of those flux, I'm going to use them for... Um, once I find the holy... Uh, uh, imbued arrows or imbued bolts recipe oh my god i really want that recipe i never see them One from behind. Ooh, more. Okay. <laughs> no, we're asleep. What one of the things you could do, Smallbone, uh, is to level up a little bit your hunting skills. So you get, um, if you're careful, you need to be careful, right? And then you can do a little bit of crafting. Because that I cannot really help you doing, of course. It's more um, something you do by yourself. Take this, Belarius.
It's just a suggestion, of course, you do what you want. Right? You're not forced to do crafting at all. If you don't want to do crafting, you don't have to. Uh, but, you know, it can be an idea. Why am I doing that? That's not the buff I needed to give to Xavier. Ooh, what's that? Wow. Nice. Nice. That's so good. So it's uh, Belarius that won it? Yeah, here. You roll a 80 and I roll a 66. That's really cool. That that Hornet Gemstone Scepter, so good. Okay, I need to go in this area more often. It is so good. Yeah. So the aquifer one is. Let's um, uh, the aquifer one. Really nice. And that's it for today. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this video. Remember, next week we are having a special guest, Charlie's, our world builder. If you have any question to ask a world builder, is from Australia, by the way. Ask all of your questions over here. If you want to see us live, we are here every Tuesday on Twitch TV. Check out Twitter or Discord to know the starting time. As for now, the time zone are a little bit messed up between Americas and Europe for a few weeks. Uh, the time we catch up with the time saving singing. Anyway, check out on Twitter and on Discord. That's where I publish all events. The maintenance is published there, the weekly community show and the weekly meeting on Discord with the rest of the community. And as well, some event when there is something like, for example, a fair trade or something else, something exceptional we're organizing for one week or so. So check out the event section on Discord to be sure to not miss out anything special. And I will also recommend you to use Discord as well, for example, to look for a group if you want to prepare your group in advance. You know that you're going to play tomorrow evening, for example, and you want to set up a group already. You can do that through Discord. We have a LFG channel for that. Thank you so very much for watching this video. You take care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.